Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark, the messenger, we're back in our video. This one's going to be about seven signs of God is telling you to seek him more. If you ever feel like you're distanced from God or you ever going through a period of confusion, uh, wondering if God is still there, uh, this video is for you. Okay, these are going to be about my personal experiences, what I went through through my testimonies, and I can share it to people who are probably going through the same thing too. So let's get, let's go. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. The number one sign God is telling you to seek him more is if you fell short into sin and you don't have the strength to quit, okay? You don't have the strength or maybe you don't have the wisdom, the knowledge, you know, what you could do to fight against it. You're unaware of spiritual warfare. You're unaware of certain things like how, you know, prayer and fasting can strengthen your spirit, how denying your flesh and living in the spirit can help you fight against that sin. So that's the number one sign, guys. And I'm gonna give you guys a verse in Psalm chapter 27, verse 14. It says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord, okay? So you got to be patient. You got to be patient. You got to be willing to wait, okay? If you're fighting a sin, now some people are stronger than other people. Some people can fight it off the same day. Some people, it takes a couple of days, a couple of weeks, but you want to wait on God. And also as you're waiting, you want to do things that's going to strengthen your spirit, okay? Because remember, the flesh is always waging war against your spirit and the spirit is always waging war against your flesh. So the more you build up your spirit, the more you feed your spirit, it's going to be a lot easier to fight against that sin. So guys, I'm telling you, we all fall, fall short of sin, but we need the strength of God. We need the Holy Spirit to help us cleanse us from our sins, the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse us from our sins. And, you know, having that connection with God to know, you know, how we could move out here so we won't fall into that certain sin or whatever that's causing us to, you know, uh, distract our purpose with our walk with Christ. Okay, so that's number one thing to do. Also, I want to give another scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. A lot of people already know this verse, but it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with, with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and faint not. Okay, so always keep that in mind, guys. The Bible is what you needed to be doing, meditating on it. Okay, number two is you start to feel distance from God. Okay, there's many times, guys, I could explain this where I felt like I was distant from God. I felt like God wasn't there. And, uh, but that's not true. You know, the thing is we're not, we're not seeking God. Okay. Uh, the reason why we feel that way is because we're not, you know, doing what we have to do to, you know, have a connection with them, to have a relationship, a personal relationship with the son, Jesus Christ and the father of God. Okay. We're, so it's us, <laughs> you know, it's us. So that's why whenever you start to feel that way, those thoughts start to kick in. That is a sign that God wants you to seek him more. How can we seek out God more, uh, in spirit and truth? Okay, uh, reading your Bible, knowing the word. Okay, like I said, guys, having a personal relationship with the Son Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's that's one of the main things, guys. If you ever start to feel this way, this happened to me so many times in life, especially when I was younger. It's because I wasn't seeking Him. I wasn't. So always take accountability. God is always there. Okay, God is. A, but are we seeking out Him? Are we seeking out Him in spirit and truth? Okay, so always keep that in mind. Uh, number. Well, actually, remember this verse too. This is in Hosea chapter six, verse one. It says. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He, he will uh, heal us. Sorry, he has smitten and he will bind us up. Okay, so he has torn us. Maybe you might feel broken. You might feel that uh, that type of way, right? But God can heal you when you return to the Lord. He will heal you. Okay, you gotta have you know, of course, be patient, wait on the Lord, and in due time, He will heal you. Okay, um, he has he has smitten, which means he has tore tore us down, and he will bind us up again. So always, guys, when you go back to God. He will heal you. Okay, you gotta make sure you're putting your full trust a hundred percent, not in man, but in God, the power of God. Okay, number three is God will bless you at the time you thought he wasn't there, and you will give him the praise and glory. There are so many times in my life where I felt like, you know, maybe God is not there, he's not listening to my prayers, and out of nowhere I got a big blessing when I needed it the most. And in that time when I got the blessing, guys, I started praying more. I started seeking out God more. And that that small seed actually led me to my YouTube channel, you know? So I'm telling you guys, God will, this this is a, a personal testimony, okay? I'm gonna go over the scripture. This is in Psalm chapter 103, verse one to eight. I'll leave a scripture right there so you guys can read along. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, okay? Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Best believe when you're following the creator, the most high God, there's benefits that come with it. Okay, so it says, who forgiven all thy iniquities and heal all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with the loving kindness and tender mercies, okay, who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord execute, execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. 
he made his his ways known unto Moses, his action to the children of Israel. Okay, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Okay, so there's many times, guys, where God has blessed me. And when I didn't think he was there no more, I thought, you know, maybe he gave up on me. And truth be told, God never gives up on you. We give up on him. Okay, we, that's, that's us, it's us. You know, God never give. Let's like think about you have a child, right? And that child ain't listening, and so you know he he don't want to listen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. I'm not gonna give up, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna focus on I'm gonna do other things because you ain't listening. So that's how kind of like how God is. Okay, so when you're not um, when you're not obeying His word and what He wants you to do in life, okay, you know of course God's not gonna be pleased with you. But always keep that in mind. Whenever you're doing the right thing and you're wondering, you know, is God still there? Is God still there? And yet the big old blessing comes, guys. That's because God wants you to give him the glory and the praise. Always keep that in mind. All right. Number four, the number four sign that God's telling you to seek him more is you feel like you have a lack of peace. This has happened a lot in my life, guys, where I felt like I just couldn't find any peace. Okay. So this is in Isaiah chapter uh, 26, verse three, it says that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on thee because he trusts in thee, okay? So that will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind has stayed on thee. So you keep your mind centered on Christ and on the Most High God and his word, of course, okay? Because he trusts in thee. That's why I said, guys, 100% trust, not 99, not 90, not 50, no being lukewarm, 100% trust. So whenever you're putting your trust in God and following his word, there is no such thing as a lack of peace. So every time I fell into a lack of peace, guys, it's because I wasn't living according to the scriptures, okay? Or maybe I was opening certain doors to allow the enemy to come in to steal my peace because we all know Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy, okay? He wants to strip you of your peace, to strip you of your joy, okay? So whenever you have a lack of peace, guys, that's a clear indicator that you got to seek God more because God will bless you with peace, okay? That's a reward from God and give you, give you peace. And one thing about peace, you can't buy peace. You can't go to eBay you can't go to the mall or, you know, any of those other places that buy peace. That's not, that's a spirit that comes from God, okay? And the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Okay? Number five is an unexpected storm. Yes, guys, you go through an unexpected storm out of nowhere. Things are going good, uh, going great. Uh, you know, your finances are good. Uh, your your relationship or your marriages, uh, your marriage with your children, whatever the case may be, right? Everything is going good. All of a sudden, the storm pops up, Okay. And I'm telling you guys, that's always the end. Because remember, look what happened to Job. Because Job is a perfect example. He wasn't expecting that. He was, and the Bible says that he was a perfect man he, who feared God, okay? And an unexpected storm popped up, okay? But always understand that it was just a test. So sometimes God, God, could, uh, God could be testing you and see Job pass the test. That's why God gave him double. That's why, guys, so sometimes you're going through that unexpected storm, guys, and see, what did Job do, guys, in the storm? He, 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 he continued to seek God. Not to say he wasn't before, but he was continuing to seek God. So even though you're going through an unexpected storm or a storm in general, you got to always be seeking God. That's that's who that's going to be your rock. Okay, this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5. It says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. So when you're going through a storm, never lose faith, never lose hope, and never lose charity, okay? Always. Number six is the word of God will start to convict you. Yes, guys, the word of God will start to convict you. You start to read it and you're realizing that certain verses are going against your lifestyle. Certain verses are convicting you of your, some of your program, you know, your thoughts, what you thought was right was actually wrong. Okay, so once you start to see the word of God convict you, that is a clear sign. Number one sign, guys. I mean, it's all, it's none of this in order, but this could be number one is that God wants you to seek it more. And this is going to require change, guys. Okay, this is this is this is a good word. when you get full convicted that's the time to change and what does change mean to repent okay the bible says over and over again to repent 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 so this is the key thing guys okay let me actually write that down okay to convict you to repent okay so repentance is key and this is in uh romans chapter 10 verse 17 it says so then faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of god okay so when you see and see, that's where faith comes in by hearing and hearing the word of God. So always keep that in mind, guys. When God wants you to seek him more, it will come with repentance. Okay, changing a certain thing that's keeping you in bondage. Uh, maybe giving up a, a certain sin or a, some uh, addiction, whatever the case may be, that you know is keeping you in darkness and is keeping you separated from Christ. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Or not, so, sorry, that's keeping you separated from God. All right, so um, yeah, so the word of God will start to convict you. Number seven is... Any guilt, shame, depression, sadness will be wiped away, okay? This has happened to me a lot of times, guys. 
and you know, you start, let's, let's say like, you start to remember God, right? You start to just do a little bit of uh, reading your Bible, right? And you start to notice that the guilt, the shame, like your past sins, your past mistakes, that's what I mean by that. And the depression, your sadness, your sorrow, okay, uh, will be wiped away. And see, this is also, when that happens, guys, you give praises and glory to the Most High. You give praises to, to the Most High, man. So that's what it's all about. Any type of guilt, shame, depression, sadness you guys have will be wiped away. And that's when God wants you to seek him more. And when God is blessing you guys, when the blessings on blessings, you have to be seeking God more because he's the one who's blessing you, right? So always be seeking out God. So these are the seven signs, guys. God wants, wants you to seek him more. Number one, it says that you fell short into sin and don't have the strength to quit. Number two is you start to feel distance from God. Number three is God will bless you at the time you thought he wasn't there and you will give him the praise and the glory. Number four is lack of peace. Number five is unexpected storm. Number six is the word of God will start to convict you, which will lead to repentance. Uh, number seven is any guilt, shame, and depression, sadness will be wiped away. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. If you have already, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys feel like if I forgot anything, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Check out this end screen if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.